Hello all, uh, welcome back. And uh, this session is uh, going to be uh, about the control systems interview question. Whenever we talk about electrical and electronics, electronics and instrumentation, or instrumentation and control engineering, one area that would be inevitable is process control and control systems. So I will have about uh, four or five sessions where we will discuss the interview questions that are most probably to be asked from the control system area and even computer science engineers these days should know the fundamentals of control system because you are uh, building solutions with IoT for larger systems which eventually need control system knowledge. So we are going to handle a few sessions say about four or five sessions which will cover about uh, uh, maybe about 50-60 questions and uh, this would be very helpful and useful for you I believe. Let's get into the questions right away. Define control system. Very simple. A control system is one which can manage, command, direct or regulate the behavior of other systems or devices using control loops. Or to make it very simple, a system that can control another system is called control system. Very simple. What are the types of control systems? There are two types of control systems which are referred as open loop control system and closed loop control system. Open loop control system is normally regarded as non-feedback control system whereas the closed loop control system are regarded as feedback control system. I will explain you what is this little later in this session itself but now understand there are two types of control systems. One is open loop, another one is closed loop control system. Define open loop control system. Open loop control system is one in which the control action is independent of the desired output signal which means the output signal whatever you desire as the output signal I mean the control action whatever is uh, the controlling action or the processing action that is going to be taken is different is not dependent totally on the output signal I mean whatever output you get is independent of the processing that is happening this is called open loop and in this system the changes in output can be corrected only by the manual intervention which means the system itself would not be able to correct the uh, input for the desired output to be obtained. So this open loop there is no feedback actually. If you want to correct you will have to correct it manually. For example immersion rod I can never call it as a closed loop system because there is no feedback system available there. It will not correct itself automatically. You take a, a olden day uh, a immersion rod for water heating purpose that's the best example. Now let's go into uh, the next question. What is a closed loop control system? This is again important. A closed loop system is one where the output has a definite effect on the input in such a way that you can get the desired output. The control action is dependent on the correct out current output and the example is air conditioner. You are setting the room temperature, uh, you are setting the air conditioner temperature as 25 and once the room temperature reaches 25 it will try to make it stable and it will not cool it further. Right? So this is the simplest example that you can understand. Draw the block diagram for open loop control system. There is an input signal, there is a controller, there is an output, that's it. There is no connect between the output and input. Now when we draw the block diagram for the closed loop control system, you can see that there is an input signal, there is a controller, there is an output response and it is fed back to the input signal. I mean the feedback is obtained and it can correct itself automatically. That's it. This is called closed loop control system. This is very important actually in interviews they may ask you this question on how do you differentiate closed loop and open loop system. What are the advantages of open loop control system? You can see that this is very simple. This is not at all complex. I will have an input, I will process it, I will give you output. No complexity at all in terms of getting the output. This is very less expensive as it is not complex. They are directly proportional. And again managing and maintenance would be very simple as we do not involve any sort of feedback algorithms, any mechanisms are not there at all. It is just going to be straightforward where I will feed input, I will get the output, that's it. So what are all the advantages of closed loop control system? Very accurate, tuning is possible and real time tuning is possible which is highly reliable and it can be used for all complex systems. Many variables can be handled because you have the facility to feed input from the output which can serve as a feedback. This is much more easier in terms of accuracy and reliability. Whenever you want high reliability, whenever you want high accuracy, I believe you guys have to choose only the closed loop control system. But again, it is not easy to work. Highlight the negatives of open loop control system. Open loop control system is highly in inaccurate and it's not reliable because you don't get the feedback. We cannot have a chance to correct ourselves 
whenever we go for open loop control system and complex environment can never be thought of with open loop uh, control system because you need feedback obviously there optimization and tuning is impossible highlight the negatives of closed loop control system very expensive complex in nature and most importantly maintenance is very difficult now the next three questions are very very important what is transient time what is transient response and finally what is time invariant system these three questions should be there in any control system interview what is transient time it is nothing but the time taken for the circuit or a system to change from one state which is steady to other steady state and that is called transient time the time taken for one system to move from the current steady state to other steady state is called transient time remember this is a very important interview question define transient response the time taken for the circuit or a system to change from one steady state to another state is called transient time and the values for the voltage and current during this time is regarded as transient response remember this is again important and the next question is further connected to these questions define time invariant system now i'll go with the same definition the time taken for the circuit or a system to change from one steady state to another is called a transient time and the value for the voltage and the current during that time is transient response the input and output characteristics of the system which does not change during the above time which means during the transient time is called time invariant system that's it this session is over here we will have more interview questions from this control system and process control lines in the near future i hope this is helpful for you guys and in case you have any questions suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the channel please uh, suggest this content to your friends as well i'll be very thankful thank you very much